When what? did you shoot yourself? Yeah. <laughs> we were on a school trip to Calais in year seven. <laughs> and I got a... Uh, I had silk boxer shorts. It's the only time I've ever worn silk boxer shorts. What? And I blame it for this shit. Because I honestly think they were so light that I just felt like I didn't have anything on. And I remember playing virtual tennis with my mate and just shitting myself. Just like there and then just like going to fart and just like really oh. fucking like really, really doing it. <laughs> And just, I remember getting rid of these silk boxer shorts. They were red, and I really liked them. Never had silk boxer shorts since. Well, so. guess what's in the box? It makes no sense. You were like, the boxer shorts were so light, they just tickled my butthole. I just, All the do you know what? I just flew yeah. out, and yeah, then I was, was like, just... you terrible shorts. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Not my poor judgment on what a fart is and isn't. <laughs> I've got to confess something. Go on. <laughs> I've got, come on, it's open season, mm. isn't it? <laughs> I touched cloth, followed right through, the first time I was ever on stage doing a professional gig. Ooh. Just touch cloth, lads. Straight wow. through. Wow. Yeah. And then what was the show? What was the show? It was a sketch show. And okay. it, was, uh, it was on stage. I was a student at the time. <laughs> and, and, yeah, it, yeah. That's, that's all there is. It's, it's just sad. It's not even that funny. Okay. <laughs> Could you smell it? Yes. So the yes. audience could also yes, smell I could, it. Graham. Yes, yeah. and I remember just backing away, <laughs> doing the sketch. I was in, luckily, I was in some brown flares. It was a sort of 70s <laughs> hilarious sketch. And then, and then, <laughs> and then just backed, just backed out, backed out, backed out, backed out. <laughs> Horrible feeling, though. <laughs> Being on stage. Oh, have you ever done that, Lou? <laughs> no, awful. Hi. Anyway, uh, Alex, listen. Oh, the mystery guest's fallen asleep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Latex mask. Oh no! I'm so sorry, oh, mystery guest. I know what to do with that. Now, before the break, we were wondering what connected Graham Norton with Jeremy Hunt. Hello. Well, it's all to do with getting things wrong. Okay. Yeah. So Jeremy Hunt once got his wife's nationality wrong during a press conference. Oh yes. Yeah. And brace yourselves. In a very long-winded way, Graham, you also got something wrong. Elizabeth McGovern. Oh yes. So Elizabeth. Am I right? Is Elizabeth, Elizabeth McGovern's the lady from Downton Abbey? Yes. Elizabeth McGovern was on the chat show, and I think I must have, because I was reading off autocue, when I introduced her, I said, please welcome Elizabeth McGovern. But then, from the moment she sat down to the end of the show, and for some reason I said her full name a lot, <laughs> I called her Elizabeth Montgomery, who's a dead actress <laughs> who was in Bewitched, if anyone yes, remembers yes, that. Yes, yes, yes! And I kept they have an earpiece, and they kept saying every time I'd say her name, I'd hear a kind of kerfuffle in my ear. And I was like, <laughs> "What is wrong with them?" And it was only at the end of it. And but I do, I did actually register the first time I said her name to her. A funny little look went across her face, and bless her, and this makes me like her so much. She didn't say anything. Doing the same thing your family did when they sat in that puke shoe room. <laughs> yeah. with you. Yes. <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> so Lou, I have to ask you, what's made it into the book? I've just actually this time drawn a picture. Graham Norton, anti-social behaviour virus. <laughs> Do you get it? Not wow. really. No. no. <laughs>